Hi everyone, in this tutorial we see how to use the substitution t equals to 10 of x to find the integral that we have here. That's the integral of 1 over 3 cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x. To do this, we're going to follow three steps. The first step, step 1, is to change the variable. That is, we need to rewrite the integral that we're given in terms of the new variable t. And so to do that, we're going to have to rewrite this cosine squared of x, as well as this sine squared of x in terms of t, and of course we're going to have to rewrite this dx in terms of t as well. Just as we saw in the previous examples, to write cosine squared of x and sine squared of x in terms of t, we can use right angle trigonometry. And here's how. We can draw a right angle triangle, something looking like this, with our right angle here, and I'll go ahead and call this interior angle x. Keeping in mind that the substitution we're working with here is t, which equals to 10 of x, we need to make sure that in this right angle triangle, the 10 of x equals to t. And the easiest way to do that is to call the side length opposite x t, and to let the side length adjacent to it equal to 1. Since 10 of x equals to opposite over adjacent, we quickly see here that tan of x equals to t over 1, which equals to t, which is exactly what we needed. Now we come up with expressions for both cosine and sine in terms of t, and for that we're going to need to find the hypotenuse. Using Pythagoras' theorem, we quickly find that the hypotenuse is the square root of 1 squared, which is 1, plus t squared, which we write t squared. Now that that's done, we can find expressions for cosine of x and sine of x in terms of t. Indeed, since cosine of x is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, that's equal to 1 over the square root of 1 plus t squared. Cosine squared of x is therefore equal to 1 squared, which is 1, over 1 plus t squared. And in a similar way, we take care of sine of x. Indeed, we know that sine of x is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's t over the square root of 1 plus t squared. And sine squared of x is therefore equal to t squared over 1 plus t squared. And at this stage, we've rewritten both cosine squared of x as well as sine squared of x in terms of the new variable t. And so now we need to rewrite the dx that we have here in terms of t. For that, we use the fact that t equals to tan of x. Its derivative, dt dx, is therefore either equal to secant squared of x, or we can write it as dt dx equals to 1 plus tan squared of x. And to be clear, both of these derivatives are correct, and they're both equal. But for the sake of rewriting our integral in terms of the new variable t, we make sure to use the second result that we have here. Indeed, since t equals to tan of x, 1 plus tan squared of x is the same thing as 1 plus t squared. And so using the fact that dt dx equals to 1 plus t squared, we can rearrange this to state that dx equals to dt over 1 plus t squared. And we've now rewritten dx in terms of t. All right, now that we've found expressions for cosine squared of x, sine squared of x, and dx in terms of the new variable t, we can go ahead and rewrite our integral in terms of t. Indeed, we can now state that i is equal to the integral of 1 over 3 cosine squared of x, which will turn into 3 times 1 over 1 plus t squared. So that will be 3 over 1 plus t squared plus sine squared of x, which we saw is t squared over 1 plus t squared. So I'll write that here. That's t squared over 1 plus t squared. And we have our dx at the end there, which we saw is dt over 1 plus t squared. So let me just write that. That's dt 
over 1 plus t squared. Now, as such, that's our first step done. We have changed the variable and rewritten the integral in terms of that new variable t. But we really shouldn't stop there. To finish the first step properly, we need to write this in its simplest form. So taking care of this denominator here, we can go ahead and state that this is equal to the integral of 1 over 3 plus t squared over 1 plus t squared with our dt over 1 plus t squared at the end. And that's equal to the integral of 1 plus t squared over 3 plus t squared and dt over 1 plus t squared. Now we see that the 1 plus t squares cancel out, leaving us with i equals to the integral of 1 over 3 plus t squared. And that's the first step done. We've successfully changed the variable and written the integral in terms of t in its simplest form. So we move on to step 2. And in step 2, we need to integrate this with respect to the new variable t. And to do that, I'll quickly copy that last result at the top here. We had i, which equals to the integral of 1 over 3 plus t squared. To integrate this with respect to t, we use one of the standard results, or one of those results we simply have to know. And that's either of the two standard integrals that we see at the bottom of the screen here. And if you watched my previous tutorials on this, then you'll know that I have a preference for the second result. That's the one at the bottom. And so to use it, I'm going to make sure that I have a 1 here instead of a 3 on the denominator. And for that, I state that this is equal to 1 over 3 times the integral of 1 over 1 plus t squared over 3. And that's equal to 1 over 3 times the integral of 1 over 1 plus, in parentheses, t over the square root of 3, all of which is squared, with our dt at the end. And now that I've written it this way, it becomes quite clear how I use the second result here. And so using that result, I can now state that i is equal to the square root of 3 over 3 times inverse 10, or arc 10, of t over the square root of 3 plus some constant of integration c. And that's step 2 done. We've now integrated with respect to t. And so we move on to the third and final step in which we use the fact that t is equal to tan of x to write the result that we just found in terms of x. And for that, all we need to do is replace every t that we see by tan of x. In other words, we can state the final answer as i is equal to the square root of 3 over 3 times inverse tan of tan of x over the square root of 3 plus some constant of integration c. And we're done. We've integrated 1 over 3 cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x using the substitution t equals to tan of x. And that's it for this tutorial.